ナンバーワンプリディケットオンリーマサルくん何ですかコーヒーですよああそうですかよく飲みますかはいコーヒーよく飲みます Oh, you don't have to repeat the information which we both understand. So, hi, yoku nomimas is sufficient. Yeah, nomimas is a predicate, so you cannot drop it. How does it sound if I repeat everything?、Um, it sounds kind of redundant and unnatural. Oh, okay. Masaru kun, sono kohi oishi desu ka? Hi, kono kohi oishi desu. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Do you know which one is a predicate in this case? Yeah, oishii desu, right? Yeah, so in this case, hai, oishii desu sounds better. So, pariku ga is a subject marker. Let's practice. Okay. So, you want to know who ate your cookie. Dare tabemashita ka? Dare ga tabemashita ka? Right. Uh, Ito san ga tabemashita. Wait, shouldn't we only have the predicate? Well, in this case, the predicate doesn't contain the information you were seeking, so Ito san has to be said. Oh, okay, I see. So you wanna know who is a student in this picture? Dono hito gakusei desu ka? Dono hito ga gakusei desu ka? この人が学生です。Okay. So now you wanna know which one tastes good. どれ美味しいですか。どれが美味しいですか。これが美味しいですよ。Number three, particle を。Next is a direct object marker を。When do we need to use を？ When the predicate is an action verb, such as tabemas, nomimas, and shimas. If you want to know what your friend、uh, ate, nani o tabemashita ka? When you want to know what he did, nani o shimashita ka? That's right. Okay, number four, particle wa. Then we have the particle wa. It cannot follow WH word and how, such as dare, itsu, dore, nani, ikura, or nanji. Okay, this is a rule. So we cannot say, ashita dare wa kimasu ka? Right. It should be dare ga because dare is a WH word. Who? However, when the predicate has WH words, the subject is always followed by wa. What? <laughs> so, when the predicate is nan desu ka, you can say, sore wa nan desu ka. Okay. Your test is when? Test wa itsu desu ka. Like that? Exactly. All right. 